Watsoso yenyu ya nasi ya kamire ya kadai. Baba is ready. Nasi tanyore ruwati chinzi. Hi KVG and Baba. Hi 326 Express. I'm a young man turning 30 later this year. I've been dating my girlfriend for 10 months now. It has been a wonderful journey. I'm sure we're compatible and I've since started saving up for Lobola. We are also both doing somehow well in our professions and careers. So sometime last year, we were having a general conversation on how life is getting tough in Zimbabwe. And maybe we could also join the bandwagon of those living for diaspora through care work. Initially, she wasn't really into the idea. But I told her that if I get any extra money, I'll do the care work courses and try my luck. To cut the story short, I got the money and I did the course. She was very supportive. A month later, she told me that she had pitched the care work thing to her parents and they gave her a green light to pursue it. She enrolled for the course and likewise, I was very supportive. After she finished the course, we agreed that we would do the applications and whoever chances to get the sponsorship should go first and you can always find ways to get the other one to follow. Fast forward. Over the weekend, she called me saying she wanted us to discuss about something and get some advice. We met and she told me that a few weeks ago, her family had assisted a family friend repatriate her sister's body from Ireland. Then some days ago, the family friend called her mom saying he just got information that his late sister had an agreement with her employer agency that as a retirement or exit package, she would want her kids to be offered employment with the same agency. So because all his sister's children are all well off, the friend thought, uh, thought that as an appreciation for the help, he would like to facilitate for his girlfriend to have her papers processed by that agency. Apparently, the issue of my girlfriend wanting to do care work was said in passing during the funeral since the late sister was also in care work and that's how the friend got to know. Now, the topic is that the friend was said to have further asked for a favor and that was for my girlfriend to wed with his younger brother so that the brother can also leave the country. This was because the agency had indicated that their clients at the moment were females only. The arrangement is that the two would wed, get their papers processed mm. as spouses, and then divorce once they're there. Mm -hmm. I expressed my discomfort and reservations about that arrangement. I, however, told her that for the sake of not being a stumbling block to her opportunity, she can go on with the arrangement and just forget about me and the relationship because she knows only Sakumberi. I was accused of a lot of things, not caring and failing to see the bigger picture. According to her, the younger brother is married. So it's just a fake wedding, just to get the papers processed. Mm. I stood with my words that she can take up the offer and let go of the relationship. Was I wrong for proposing that? Naive Dari. How can we express how can I express myself without sounding selfish? Or like I never cared. Because truly, I did care and I still do care. But I have reservations with that sort of an arrangement. But again, I'm still just a mere boyfriend and wouldn't want to stand in the way of her life. For perhaps it's a life-changing opportunity for her. Please help. We are Star FM sounding good all the time. Baba, I know that you have uh, the iPad with you there. And I also have a screen. I can see yeah. the messages. I want you to... Um, just check how we are getting messages from people in the diaspora. All right, I'll read the one Irbam Soro. Yeah. It's a plus four four number. It says Jaka Zarakuno. No Zirguto Itika KVG. All right. Vamwe Vari Miri. Vavava Tumirao my messages to say good ah. Azungave zviri zvino zvaungada ukozhesa izvi ndo madiri acho atoriko 